Good morning to all. Ah. Yes, please. On behalf of Dr. Sonia in the College of Physical Education, we are celebrating National Sports Day in this fine occasion. In this fine occasion, we have two guests of honors, Dr. K. Vaidyanathan and Dr. R. Nadrajan, the international athletes as well as the famous icons in athletics. Now I request our beloved principal sir to welcome the gathering and introduce the chief guest. Sir, please. So, uh, good morning to every one of you. So, we show all a happy National Sports Day. Respected my teacher, Guru, Dr. K. Vaidyanathan, former Vice Chancellor of Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, President of the Director of Sports, Sarah University, Chennai. And we have our next guest, Dr. R. R. Nadarajan. Yes, international athlete and slider, assistant commissioner of CST, and Dr. Nadarajan is the product of Dr. K. Vaidyanathan. And my name is the director of physical education and sports. My name is the director of CST. And on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on behalf of Dr. Sandhya Dutton, our College of Physical Education Management, and on he did his BSc in Mathematics from Bangalore University. He did his BSc in Mathematics from Bangalore University. He did his BSc in Mathematics from Bangalore University. He did his BSc in Mathematics from Bangalore University. He did his BSc in Mathematics from Bangalore University. After the completion of his master's degree in Physical Education. He served as physical director at the old man's hospital college. From there, he switched over to our college of physical education, Kadhimuri, as a lecturer, and he served for about one year. After that, he switched over to the old man's university, the Department of Physical Education, as a teaching faculty, and he served as a teacher. As a teacher at Amrita University, then he attended the evening from Amrita University. He has served as leader, captain, head, department of physical education, Pondicherry University. Again, he returned to Amrita University as captain professor, department of physical education, Amrita University for nineteen years. He held the responsibility of the faculty of education. Then he was the vice chancellor of Kannada Physical Education University for ten years. After the tenure is completed at Kannada Physical Sports University, he joined the ranks of sports at Kannada University, Chennai. His first achievement was here at Kannada State. In the open one, as an athlete, in the year 1974, in high jump and 20 meters hurdles. 
I'm the first person in the United States. 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 Places at state level and national level in high 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 Yes, he has produced one Asian gold medalist, Mr. Mr. Rajan, who represented the Harkai in Tokyo in 1981. And he produced one South Games gold medalist and record holder in 100 meters, Dr. Rajan, in 1989. And he produced one. In the United States, Mr. J. J. Kumar in the year 1990. And he produced more than 35 national athletics between 1977 to 1993. This is first in physical education. Yes, there are many international conferences in the field of physical education sports. So, so far, we have used 42 PhD holders in physical education. Two are evaluating by our examination, and eight candidates are doing PhD at present. This is the academic level of our various universities in India. And we have the association of the Indian universities went there for the ADS for sports board. After seeing as direct sports for the Islam University, he made up the 400 meter standard track and the exhaust stadium. And he started the ADS physical education, three years course. And he started a level physical education, PhD level at that time, and diploma in yoga. He had a very good relationship with our college. I got a degree. I guess you say four important factors. He had with our college a good relationship between our management, especially with our founder, Mr. Mr. Dr. Sanjana. He was, he was the open army of the government, government to plan the initiation of the Dr. Sanjaya Nakhna College of Physical Education. In 1993, he was the first from the Manonkhi University. So he was the open army of the government for the initiation from the Manonkhi University. And, and, and as a vice chancellor of Physical Education Sports University, he granted permanent affiliation to Dr. Sivandya Ritanar College of Physical Education. As a vice chancellor of Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University, he granted the research center at Dr. SACP. And I am happy to inform you, sir, that from this research center, two of our candidates recently got. PhD. And one more achievement regarding to our colleges, when it was holding the Vice Chancellor of Sports University, he has presented honorary CASA doctorate to our founder, Patmasit Dr. Sivanti Adithanath at Chennai. So he had a very good relationship with our College of Physical Education for the last 27 years. So I am also one of the product of Dr. K. Vaidyanathan. So I will tell you as our students are attending this webinar on the National Sports Day. Adavde, Nare teams le student to teacher and say the campaign when you are in in athletics, in state meets, 
வாத்தியாரும் பையனும் ஒன்னா பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ணது எனக்கு தெரிஞ்சு நாங்க ரெண்டு பேரும் தான் நினைக்கிறேன் கண்ணாமலை யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஓபன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸுக்கு நாங்க போவோம் அப்ப சாரு ஒன் டென் மீட்டர்ஸ் அட்ரஸும் ஐச்சமும் பண்ணுவாரு நான் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் மீட்டர்ஸ் பண்ணுவேன் அந்த ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஹண்ட்ரட் மீட்டர்ஸ் இடையில நாங்க ரெண்டு பேரும் டீம் மேட்டா இருப்போம் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்டும் டீச்சர் அதுல என்ன அப்படின்னா சார் தான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெக் ஸ்டார்டர் ஐ யூஸ் டு ரன் தி செகண்ட் லெக் தி ஸ்ட்ரைக் ஸோ ஐ ஹேவ் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு பார்ட்டிசிபேட் அலாங் வித் ஹிம் ஆஸ் அ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் அஸ் அ டீச்சர் அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு பெரிய ப்ரௌட் ப்ரிவிலேஜ் எனக்கு கிடைச்சிருக்கு ஸோ ஆன் திஸ் ஃபைன் அகேஷன் I happen to be the principal of Dr. Sivandi Alitinar College of Physical Education. I saw that in the webinar, National Sports Day, everybody knows that it is the birthday of Diane Chant, who participated in the Olympics representing India in the year 1928, 32 and 36. Three Olympics, we have a gold medal on this year. and he has scored more than 400 goals international goals or soldier indian army la ala or special things enna appadina avar velayadum bodu 1928 32 36 appo nam india independence e vaangala a dedicated sportsman a patriot So, our day birthday, the Government of India, Parliament Act, the 29th of August, his birthday is celebrated as a National Sports Day. So, our day history, we all know that all of us are physical education people who are sports people. So, in this day, when the young students, especially students of Dr. Sivandi Adhikanar College of Physical Education, they have all the information we know. இந்த ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் மேன் எல்லாம் எந்த அளவுக்கு லைஃப்ல அச்சீவ் ஆயிருக்காங்க அப்படிங்கறதுக்கு ஒரு நிறைய எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் இருக்கு பட் டியூ டு டைம் ஃபேக்டர் ஐ குட் ஏபிள் டு கலெக்ட் ஒன்லி டூ ஒன் இஸ் டாக்டர் வைத்தியநாதன் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டைஸ்ல பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ணி அச்சீவ் பண்ணி பிசிக்கல் எஜுகேஷன் காலேஜ்ல லெக்சரர் ஆகி அப்பவும் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ணி பை சான்சலர் ஆகி ஈவன் ஆப்டர் ஹிஸ் டெலிவரி இஸ் இன்வைட்டட் பை எஸ்ஆர்எம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி அதே மாதிரி டாக்டர் நடராஜன் ஸோ இந்த வெபினார்ல எங்க காலேஜ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸுக்கு அட்ரஸ் பண்றதுக்கு வி ஹவ் இன்வைட்டட் டூ ஆப்ட் பர்சனாலிட்டிஸ் இன் த ஃபீல்ட் ஆஃப் பிசிக்கல் எஜுகேஷன் ஸோ ஐ ஷுட் தேங்க் தி மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் டாக்டர் சிவந்தி அதுக்குனார் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் பிசிக்கல் எஜுகேஷன் ஸ்பெஷலி அவர் சேர்மன் திரு பாலசுப்ரமணி ஆதித்தன் அண்ட் ஆதர் அதர் அஃபிஷியல்ஸ் for providing an opportunity to conduct the webinar on online so on behalf of every one of you and on behalf of our management we welcome dr k vaidyanathan my teacher to the webinar and i request dr vaidyanathan to present his address and bless our students to achieve many more laurels in their life welcome you sir Thank you. ஹலோ 
Will you be able to hear me? ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ as our country national sport day since from 2012 to commemorate major tangents best anniversary and his achievements in the field of sports such a great personality and achiever in the field of sports in our country Sanjan captained the Indian teams for the consecutive Olympics for three, 1928, 1932 and 1936. In all the three Olympics, they won the gold medal. Apart from that, Sanjan has scored about 400 in 22 years. that too only in the national and the international competitions the note for the memorable for him is the major tangents award the highest award for his uh, lifetime achievements in sports and games in india after the death of da- major tajan in 1979 the indian postal department issued stamp in his honor father the national stadium in indian delhi has been renamed as major tajan stadium during his period the people those have witness witnessed the match they used to call him as a key wizard because of the magical touch and super ball control and creativity in the game and the extraordinary goal scoring as you all know the sports play a vital role being a physical educationist you may be knowing it and you may be having that experience sports play a vital role in shaping an individual to develop all round qualities sports play a vital role it is an essential one most of the people they are thinking that participating in games and sports is for developing physical fitness and to develop physical structure it is not the case by participating in games and sports all the organic systems are improving the efficiency in sporting capacity through which they will be able to concentrate on more on the subjects also academic subjects also and they can uh, complete the work within a short span of time when others are doing those who are not a player as i mentioned that all the organic systems are improving its efficiency so his uh, brain will also work accordingly so he'll be able to concentrate much only thing is the sports fan they used to play only on the field and they will be always thinking about that the game concern you know while they're sleeping they will think about the game how you are supposed to play what are the strategy and tactics that we are supposed to follow if he is a captain then he will think about how the formation has to be made so that is why they are not concentrating on the subject don't think that the subject will not come for the sports person only thing is they are not concentrating on it if he is giving equal importance for games and sports similarly on par with the, sorry giving sports importance similarly if he gives importance for academic subjects also he can be a good achiever even in academic also by knowing these facts our governments launched many programs 
schemes. For example, Fit India Movement is one of the schemes introduced by the central government. Not only that, Kerala India School Games, Kerala India University Games, School Talent Search Portal, High Level Committee to assess the grievances of the women's sports persons. There are so many soy schemes. National Sports Award scheme, like the Entrance Award, Arjuna Award, Dronachara Award, and Badma Sri, Badma Motion, these all the schemes comes under, introduced by the central government. Games and sports for disabled, and so on. So, now, the government is also playing a vital role, and they're giving more importance for games and sports. We, the physical education, by knowing that things, and we should put forth our effort to improve our status. And if you are a good player, and you should try to improve your status and to represent higher and higher, at one stage you must be in a position to play for the nations, so that you'll be able to bring laurels and name and fame to the country. Suppose if you are not able to do such a level, at least you should know the past, fundamental skills and uh, strategy tactics so that you'll be able to implement when you're getting a job in a school or a college, so that they, you can produce a national or international figures in various games and sports. What I'm telling, by participating in games and sports, one can improve his academic also, as I explained. Not only that, they will develop many social qualities and moral qualities by participating in games and sports. How it is, how the moral qualities and social qualities will develop through games and sports while you are playing. You have to play the game as per the rules and regulations. If you play as you like, what happens? You will commit mistakes and uh, officials will penalize you and they will punish you. They will penalize, they will penalize by giving a penalty. So, he, there you are learning, you have to give respect for rules and regulation. And you have to cooperate with the other players. And you should uh, obey the command of the captain and also the coach. Then you'll be able to, uh, uh, ultimately be able to win the match. That's why these insists that play and participate and cooperate with the people and obey the rules and regulations and uh, obey the officials, sorry, officials' command, obey the uh, captains and the coaches' command. There, we are developing these qualities called moral qualities. Even off the field, we used to give respect for the rules and regulations. That's why the people are insisting that we all should play because they are developing all such kind of qualities. Even in the off the field, even in the society, while they are moving to the people, they used to give respect for rules and regulations. Not only that, while you are playing, you will be getting recognition by having all such kind of qualities. You will become a good citizen. People will give respect for you, not only for the play, even for the way in which you behave, your personality, your behavior, they used to give respect. That's why they used to say, a person, that fellow, or that person is having very good sportsmanship quality. And that he is having the sportsmanship spirit. It is all developed through games and sports. You are very fortunate that you are doing BPD and MPD because you will become a physical director or physical education teacher in the future. And you are the people who are going to lead the games and sports and, and you are going to teach all these things in the schools and colleges. So you are getting an opportunity to make the people as a good citizen of this nation through games and sports. Even most of the institutions in schools, particularly, they are the people maintaining the discipline in schools. They are the people responsible for all such kind of things. Even if there is any meeting, even if there is any functions, they will address the responsibility of physical education teachers because they know us very well that they will be able to organize this very nicely. And they know very well that only the students will obey the physical education teachers' words. That's why they have entrust the responsibility to him. So you are in such a responsible position. And is it then all these things? That will come automatically when you started to play. 
and nowadays after completing the academic when they are going for a job they are not seeing your aptitude aptitude be knowledge in the subjects because aptitude you will have knowledge and subject but you may not be able to manage the people that is possible for that is it have aptitude a w t i aptitude is different from attitude aptitude is subject knowledge attitude means the way in which you deal people the way in which you are controlling the people the way in which that you are commanding the people this is all the thing that you will be able to get only by participating games and sports that attitude can be developed only through games and sports so nowadays they are thinking uh, considering this not only this attitude knowledge on the subject even they used to see the attitude of the person because that play a vital role nowadays for administration even in the it field whatever may be the field even the management wants to have this attitude there is a lot of possibility for them to develop this attitude while you are playing the game, playing the game that's why he insists that everyone should participate not only that by maintaining a good health one will be away from all kinds of disease one will be away from all kinds of ailments health problems so that you can lead a hale and healthy life and you never be burdened even long till the last breath you can enjoy your life span given by the god for each and every one the life span is given by the god but some of the people they will be even coma stage there are certain people they will be for about one year or two year whereas that will not take place for the sports persons till the last week they will be involved in sort of activities Partic- so participation games is only even after the competitive type of sports you are supposed to continue physical activities to lead a healthy and healthy life to fit yourself what do you used to do you used to continue to play though they are not going for competitions for this type of activities on to maintain the fitness at the age of 50 55 even if they are not able to go and play and they will go for brisk walk even at the age of 60 65 they used to go for ordinary walk even at the age of 75 80 they used to go rafsan he died at the age of 91 till the last he used to go for walk even if he is not able to walk with a stick he used to go he has no value we learn all these things from him so by knowing all these things now you are having lot of responsibility greater responsibility you should learn even if you are not able to represent the country even if you are not able to represent the state but you are going to be a become a physical education teacher or physical director at least you know all these basic fundamental skills of the game which you are going to specialize and you have adequate knowledge on both theory and practical implement the things uh, after getting a job and you can be able to produce an international national level athletes national level players and international level athletes and players so by aiming that things even if you are not able to achieve and you will be able to create and you will be able to produce in such a way that you should develop your mind and you should work for it don't waste your time it's my humble request everyone should participate a lot of schemes are there you know very well that uh, danjen name is danjen name is uh, dan sing not dan chen chan c h a n d chan is game chan means in hindi it is moon chandran on those days when he was serving in the army he never used to find any time after completing his uh, Uh, daily duty he used to find hardly about half an hour 6 o'clock by that time the um, dark and he will be waiting for the moon he used to play in the moon that's why they used to chant chan they used to call him a stand for uh, it is his nickname chand so later on he 
هزویس نم از جن جن دیگه چیه این بیتر جن دیگه چیه این جن سین از بین چیز از بین نم از جن چن because he used to play and practice in moonlight why I mention in these things nowadays we are having very good infrastructure facilities in all the institutions even as our um, Even the Arjuna College of Physics, they have very good facilities. You may not be able to find such a uh, infrastructure facilities in indoor stadiums, multi-purpose indoor stadiums. No institutions are having. Majority of the institutions are without indoor stadiums, they are running. But you people who are lucky enough of uh, pursuing a course at uh, Dr. Sivadhi Arjuna College, they have good facilities, particularly indoor stadiums. And they have plenty of facilities. Without any light, Without any facilities, a person who represented our country and participated in three Olympics and captained the team for three times, and all the three times they won the gold. That we should appreciate. So, what to celebrate is birth anniversary as our national sport day. He born in 1905. 1905. And he died in 1979. Today, another 15th birth anniversary for him. So we have to be grateful of having. I thank your authorities for having given opportunity to share some of the points with these people on this occasion. Uh, so I thank particularly our principal, Dr. Devinson Seren Baraj. For having an opportunity to share my views with you people, I thank all the students for your patient hearing. Wish you all the best. Jai. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the excellent talk, remembering the contribution made by Dayan Chand, the role played by the sports and games for the promotion of various aspects of an human individual, which I. Strongly believe on that the behavioral aspects, social qualities can be developed only through sports, nothing else. So really, I thank my teacher for the excellent uh, message given to our students on this fine occasion. So on behalf of our management, faculty members, students, and well wishers, I express my sincere thanks to uh, my teacher, Dr. K. V. Ganesan. Thank you very much. Sir, I am here. Ah, right. Okay. So I am happy to invite Dr. Ad Nadrajan, IRS International Athlete, presently working as the Assistant Commissioner of GST at Chennai. So, on behalf of the management. Uh, faculty members, students of Dr. Sivandi Adipinar College of Physical Education, we welcome you, sir, on this fine noon to remember <coughs> the, to celebrate the National Sports Day, the birthday of the answer. For the information to the faculty and to the students, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Narajan. Because most of our faculty members know him very well, because few years back he visited our campus for our college day celebrations. So it is a proud privilege for me to introduce an international athlete to our present batch of students and alumni. So if I start the training is resume, it will take me more one hour. So I cut short that the important factors I have taken about his achievements, etc. So I will go through that. He is qualified. He did his uh, plus two from RSK High Secondary School from Trichy. He did his Bachelor of Pharmacy from Annamalai University, and he did his MA Sociology from Annamalai University. PG Diploma in Yoga from Annamalai University, and the MSc Yoga from Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University. He is the first Indian athlete completed PhD in athletics. 
So it is one of the greatest achievements that. <coughs> so other sports achievements of Natarajan, I will just go through that. He was a national champion and record holder in 100 meters and 200 meters for nine consecutive years from 1988 to 1996. He was the South Asia's fastest man title holder in 1989-1991. He was the South Asian Games record holder and champion in 100 meters, 200 meters and 100 meters relay in 1989, 1991, and 1995. Silver medalist in 200 meters at the World Indoor Meet at Iran in the year 1989. And the important uh, news, you know, even I am very close to Natraidan, so far I have not heard that. And he got a chance to run along with the top class sprint of the world, Carl Lewis in the World Permit Meet in 1990, and Nadrajan got the fourth place in the meet. So, really, it is a great chance for Nadrajan to run along with Carl Lewis. He is the second Indian to run 200 meters below 21 seconds, that is 20.9 seconds. Qualifying to represent our country in 200 meters in 1996 Atlanta Olympics, USA. He represented India in the World Open Athletics Meet at Taiwan in the year 1995. Qualifying to represent in the Commonwealth Games at Auckland in 1990. World University Games in Japan 1989. International Athletic Permit Meet in 1989 to 1995. He underwent specialized advanced training in London for three months and Sweden for three months in 1994. Before the international participation, he has represented Annamal University and won gold medal in 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters and 400 meters relay in the All India Inter University Athletic Meet for four consecutive years 1988, 89, 90, 91. So during that period, Dr. K. Vaitinan was his coach. And he received certain awards. One is the best sportsman award of the Tamil Nadu state from 1989 to 1996. He got the Best Sportsman Award by the All India Sports Journalist in the year 1990. And he got the Best Performer Award, South Asian Best Performer Award in 1990. His training experience and social activities. It is a long time. Resume, but I just bring it one or two. He served as a director of Indian Sports Promotion Academy, presented research papers in many international, national conferences, seminars, and workshops, and uh, he was the board of studies member at Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University from 2010 to 2013, and he is being invited as a special speaker on motivation and fitness in sports in many organizations like BBC London and the ISRO. And I had a very good uh, personal relationship with uh, Nadrajan for the long years. One of the dedicated athletes I have seen in action. Wherever, you know, when Annamal University comes with Dr. Vaidyanathan for the university competitions, I uh, used to take Arhapa University athletic team to inter university competition. Uh, during that time, I could be able to watch his, him in action. Very dedicated athlete, very sincere athlete, very, very aggressive as well as very active in participation of sports. So during the competition days, he's very careful in his diet 
rest, etc. So even in training. So it is much privilege for me to introduce Dr. R. Narayan to our students of BPES, BPED, and MPED and to faculty to know about the international athlete. And he got a PhD from in PhD in athletics. So it is a, a good vision for the students to take up his footsteps for the promotion. And I request Dr. Nadarajan to address our students to share his views of his own experience in the field of sports and games. With this, I welcome him and I hand over the session to Dr. Nadarajan. Thank you. Uh, very good afternoon to one and all. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Bevinson, sir, uh, for your sweet words, nice words. And I should uh, thank uh, for you to for taking so much of patience, taking taking so much of patience and enumerating my profile. In fact, uh, this profile is only history. What I'm going to do with this is much more bigger responsibility. I should also thank all the listeners, all the participants here for their patient, patient listening on my history profile. First of all, a very good afternoon once again to each and every one of you. To the principal of uh, the Sivan, Dr. Sivendi Ayatanar College of Physical Education and my mentor, my philosopher, my guide, my coach, my friend, everything to me as a sports person, as an individual uh, who was responsible throughout my career in my life, Dr. K. Vaidyanathan, sir. Uh, the, the former Vice Chancellor of Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University and the present uh, Dean and Director of SRM University. Uh, he had uh, given an excellent, dynamic, very cheerful speech. After a very long time, I'm hearing his uh, voice with a command, like a lion roaring. Fantastic it was, sir. My respects and Gratitude to you, sir, always. You have been a reason for me, for my existence in this world. Thank you so much, sir. And my dear faculty of the Dr. Sivindi Adityanar College of Physical Education, Tirchandur. I pay my respects to you all and the future physical education teachers and directors of this institution. I take the privilege of sharing this dais, a very important information message to every one of you here. I am closely associated with Tirchandur for many reasons. I have been three, four times as a chief guest to your college and your former late chairman, Dr. B. Sivandi Ayatan is a great inspiration to the whole country, to the whole world in the field of sports, in the, in, the, in the field of sporting fraternity. He was a role model, in fact. So he admired me a lot. He supported me a lot. He guided me a lot. And he made me the advisory board committee member of the Madras University, not for three years, but for six years. And so I'm, I'm closely associated with this university and this college. And uh, I happen to be the chief guest also in one of their three annual day functions of your college. It was a great remembrance. And of course, my favorite God, Lord Muruga is there at Tirchandur, a place for victory, a place for success, a place for overcoming your own failures, which remembers the force which we call in the name of God. It may be a church, it may be a mosque, it may be a temple. We call in the name of the force which acts through you inside you to win over situations, to win over failures, to overcome any problems and obstacles. And that is one reason sports is the main secret behind it, 
which plays as an instrument to be a reason to overcome your failures and today being a great occasion wonderful occasion the national sports day where the whole country is celebrating where one of the india is one of the five countries only five countries in the world which are celebrating their national sports day as very rightly said by dr vaidyanathan sir about uh, the legend the indian hockey wizard major dhyan chand very beautifully narrated how his name was coined in how the name came in because his original name was dhyan singh in hindi chand means moon why the chand came behind his name because he used to practice in the evenings there was no flood lights he used to wait for the moon to come and when the moon comes the whole field is lit so he used to train in that so that is why his name dhyan chand so we celebrate his birth anniversary today not only his birth anniversary but also spread the message of the significance and importance of sports in one's life so i always tell that sports is your life and life as a sports person as a sports it's both ways because life and sports have both have more, more similarities and has got lot of uncertainties you may lose at any time you may win at any time you may lose at one point and remember the moment you fail to rise again train again practice again and come again that is the point you lose again so you will never have to lose again because failures and losing is not permanent sports teaches you how to overcome and win again because many people will have an opportunity will always think that i want to give up at one point of time because of failures frustration disappointment you will give up everybody not only a sports person everybody will give up but when you think of the moment of success victory celebrations you will never give up and it is worth sacrificing anything in this world you will sacrifice anything in this world that is the beauty of sports that is the beauty of sports so never give up so always think positively about coming up again and winning up again in this pandemic situation we are in the need of more demand of immunity body immunity than ever before but our body mind also requires more confidence and courage this can be obtained by sports very simple because sports teaches you everything to become confident courageous and determined in my personal experience i would like to share that because of sports because of sporting participation the competence which has given me the confidence if i tell it will not be out of place to say that till eighth standard i was stammering i used to stammer but but sports gave me the confidence the determination the encouragement the support from everybody and today i am the most best speaker the short speaker in tamil nadu and i was a bbc commentator in the london bbc for the rio olympics so no wonder sports has given me the personality the charisma the confidence uh, the determination the discipline everything in this world but for which i wouldn't have have a chance to speak again here because sports teaches you want to how to learn and how to relearn because it's not learning it doesn't stop there it makes one person to re relearn again and again to think whether i can do better than the previous match the previous game i can do better than the previous race so sports teaches you such a wonderful occasion it creates an opportunity to respond to the situation as very rightly beautifully said by dr vaidyanathan sir how socially how you mold you develop your capacity how to balance your emotional content of your emotional parameters how you confidently tackle situations of failures and obstacles and we have seen people getting committing suicide after plus 2 examination results after a failure but when you are when you do 
uh, when you are a sports person, when you start practicing sports and make sports as a life, you don't have to become a national champion or an Olympic medalist, but continuing playing sports every day, you will overcome all this frustration, stress, anxiety, failures, everything in this world, and you will be an ultimate winner. Sports teaches you perseverance, continuity in every aspect. That is the beautiful secret of sports. So sports has one has to experience what gives what sports can give to you because sports gives a chance to explore you who you are and what you are your capacities your potentials your talents your limitations so sports gives you an opportunity to explore yourself in the in a in a sports field or in your life why i'm telling uh, life as sports and sports as life because in life also you have to undergo such failures and fail such and face such criticisms and discrimination so that is where sports gives you an opportunity to overcome withstand that criticism withstand that um, uh, inferior complexes to overcome the inferior complexes and sports never lets you down and sports is a very important aspect of every human being every human being to take up to the next level because it teaches to emerge yourself as a leader at all levels you don't have to be a world leader you can be a good leader in your house you can be a good leader in your organization you can be a good leader in your department you can be a good leader as, as in among your friends you can be a good leader among the sports persons so this sports has never ending process from childbirth to end dead end till your death date of year, death, death you have to do do you have to practice sports you commit yourself experience the knowledge the experiences of the sports fraternity so today you take a pledge that today you take a pledge definitely i am sure that this national sports day will spread the message of significance of importance of sports in bringing the happiness of health success and making a champion and going around the world not only with you that with but but also with all the people around you because as very rightly said by dr vaidyanathan sir through sports your physical fitness your mental fitness and your spiritual fitness can be enhanced the secret is being to develop your immunity and your confidence is nothing but play well eat well sleep well and study well so everybody has to do this at all ages at all times from birth to death so this is the motto of my academy india sports promotion academy and very beautifully said by uh, the dhanchan no is one of the famous incidences where he exhibited absolute pure patriotism in 1936 berlin olympics when um, he was playing against germany when india was playing against germany in the semi finals in the 1936 berlin olympics hitler came to witness to the uh, match of semi finals where germany was also playing he refused to to hand shake shake hands with all the indian players he shook hands only with the german players but fortunately india was winning the game in the half time the score was 4-0 where all the four goals were struck by dhanshan and uh, hitler went away from the stadium he walked out of the stadium because germany was losing and at the end of the score at the end of the day the score was 8-1 where out of eight goals seven goals were scored by dhanshan and uh, hitler was very curious very anxious to meet dhanshan but dhanshan refused to meet hitler having heard his stories and having Uh, shown his attitude not shaking hands with the indian team but fortunately or, or unfortunately accidentally they met they, uh, they the organizers made a moment of meeting hitler and dhanshan in the corridors of the stadium where hitler questioned dhanshan what is your job in india other than playing hockey so here uh, dhanshan replied beautifully i play hockey that is my life i play for the indian army and indian army is my duty it gives me bread and butter so what is your rank in indian army hitler questioned he said i am a sepoy there lance nayak 
Lance Nayak? Is it Lance Nayak? No, you come to Germany. Hitler responded immediately. You come to Germany. I will give you the top rank in the army as field marshal. And well said by Dan Shan, beautifully replied, very, very beautifully, very mildly, very softly, very composed, balanced way he replied, very silently he replied that I am an Indian, I will play for India and I will win for India. These were the three words Dan Shan told, very beautifully. So like that, every individual, not only sports persons, every individual has to develop that patriotic feeling. And today, all the coaches, all the physical directors, because I always tell, I have a very big respect for all the physical directors. Why? Because from Milka Singh to uh, Natarajan and in future also, including P.T. Usha, the sports persons of the country have been produced by the physical directors. Because physical directors are the backbone of Indian sports. And sports person, I always tell that sports persons always come out of the origin of physical directors. So they play a major role and the communication to the uh, society, the spread the, 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 the spreading of knowledge of importance of sports on this day will pay, make a very big difference in the future days for making more champions at the world class for India. So this is basically this sports day. I wish that this Sivindi Adithanar College will take a promise here. Not one promise. I know I am too, uh, too uh, lavishly desirous. I am very proud and I also want, because I am too, I should say that uh, uh, this, uh, this world requires that liberty. Two promises by the Dr. Sivendi Adithanar College of Physical Education to take on this occasion, on this National Sports Day, under the stewardship of Dr. Vivinson, sir. So you start today, take a promise that in five years time, the Sivendi Aitanar College should have a synthetic track and a synthetic multi-purpose gymnasium there for all the discipline of sports. Please make your staff to work on the project and, can confer and, come and definitely you will be successful in the project. That will be an icon, that will be the base for producing an Olympic medalist from Tirchandur Adithanar College and where all the Indian sports persons will come and practice there. Definitely they will do wonders for this country. On this National Sports Day, I would like to insist that sports gives you the best of ability in your mind and your heart because uh, by doing sports for 30 minutes, you can activate your mind. You By walking or jogging, very rightly said by Dr. Vaidhinathan sir, beautifully said, Every day, if you cannot run, you walk. If you cannot walk, you crawl. These are the words of uh, words of uh, the famous speaker from America. So this uh, walking, jogging is good for your heart. And you do pranayama, breathing exercise. Very importantly, breathing exercise is good for your lungs. And you do a lot of exercise, physical exercise and yogic postures which is good for your whole body. And please do meditation every day, five minutes of meditation, different kinds of meditation, which is good for your mind and good thoughts for your good soul, for your good soul and good food. Eat only good food, quality food for your intestine to be good, for your stomach to be good. And you do only good things, good deeds for the wonderful world, good world. That will bring you the accomplishment you will of your lifetime. So sports makes you to be more brilliant in your life career. Once again, the secret, play well, eat well, sleep well and study well. With this, I would also convey a very strong message how breathing can help you uh, with a small story of tortoise and a dog. Because breathing is very important. Have we all seen a dog breathing? It puts a tongue outside and breathes in and out very fast, panting. <laughs> <laughs> like that. So what happens the dog? Breathing in, in and breathing out very fast is one time. Like that, per minute, the dog breathes in, breathes out 45 times. 45 times. And what is the lifespan of a dog? 10 to 15 years, that's all, maximum. Have you seen a tortoise breathing? You cannot see whether it is breathing or not. Slowly, very deeply, continuously it breathes. Very slowly. 
it breathes only two or three times per minute what is the lifespan of a tortoise 150 years 200 years so you all have a test today on this national sports day to all my teachers i am so happy that i have a very big responsibility they have taught me so i am giving a test for everybody that you all test your breathing in and out is one time per minute how many times you breathe in breathe out i am going to give the grading now if you breathe in breathe out 10 to 13 times per minute it is good if you breathe in breathe out 8 to 10 times per minute it is very good if you breathe in 5 to 8 times per minute it is excellent if you breathe in breathe out below 5 times per minute it is extraordinary my breathing count is 3 to 4 times per minute very slowly deep breathing so most of us don't do deep breathing at all. So I learned this pranayama techniques through MSC yoga. It is once again, my coach inspired me to do MSC yoga. And now I am contributing how yoga can enhance sports performances. So like that, I urge an appeal to all the physical directors and the athletes and the coaches and the students who are present here to focus in one point and you develop that and contribute to the society. And contribute to the society. That will you will be a set, you will be a role model. You will set standards for the younger generation who are taking over your place. Fantastic it is. And today, immunity is the most demanding thing. A little bit of physiology here. A little bit of physiology here. Because in this pandemic situation, you require immunity in your body and positivity in your mind. To develop immunity, your lymphatic nervous system, you have. I don't know how many of you know we have three nervous systems. One nervous system is your central nervous system. The second, uh, the, uh, the second one is the peripheral nervous system. And the third one is the lymphatic nervous system. The lymphatic nervous system is the important nervous system for your immunity. The percentage or the amount of lymph present in your nervous system. To enhance or stimulate or to produce more immunity, this lymph has to, has to be more in your body. Where does the lymph is produced? Lymph is produced in your neck region, in your chest midrib, your pelvic, and your knee joint. So these are the four or five places lymph is produced your immunity level. So how to stimulate? If you activate these points by physical exercises and postures and jogging and breathing exercise, you will activate these points so that your lymphatic nervous system is activated and your Im immune system is also activated. So this is a small secret of developing immunity. So immunity is the demand than ever before. And likewise, positivity. Always think positive. Never be negative. And positivity will take you even be a million times. So as uh, very rightly said by Dr. Your principal, Dr. Bevinson, sir, because I'm closely associated because uh, he is my neighbor. In my, in my native place, Harikudi, a neighbor of my in-laws, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. So he is my very close associate, not today, yesterday, last 30 by 30 years. And he has been a very big fan of me. Fan in the sense, he used to admire me and my uh, run and my race, my training, my communication, my English, my support and everything because this words of appreciation motivates me and inspires me. Because everybody requires appreciation. Everybody requires recognition. So your principal is a very great enthusiastic person who encourages everybody and supports a very dynamic person, very disciplined. I admire his discipline and uh, dynamic administration capacity. And he always uh, walks tall and talks his way. There is an English saying, Walk, walking tall and talking is your way is very important to be as a leader. So thank you so much, sir, for this great opportunity. And I also wish that uh, this college soon will get a synthetic track and efforts will be made. Find out all the resources. There are projects, there are schemes in this country, in this state. And make your college a wonderful place, set standards for the rest of the world and become an icon in this country. I want Adityanar College to be an icon in this country and produce Olympic world level class champions. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity once again. Thank you so much for all the participants for this patient listening. 
you have given me a very big responsibility sir i would also uh, take this opportunity to give my assurance to this college to the sporting fraternity that i am always at your disposal for the development of sports and to share my expertise and experience thank you so much sir uh, thank you dr narvajan for your valuable presentation especially on the development of thank you uh, especially on the development of individual and uh, the dream of making the synthetic track at our campus will happen shortly slowly we are getting uh, all facilities now we have a open flood like volleyball courts kabaddi courts and we are we are got the kabaddi match recently it is on the way we are getting it tomorrow or day after tomorrow from up so we are uh, developing ourselves for the development of sports shortly we will expect the synthetic track also will be laid shortly so that it will be boost for the not only for the college it is for the uh, state as well as our country really i am in the busy schedule where uh, you have accepted our invitation to be here on this webinar and especially your uh, blessings and your ideas and the pledge to be taken on this fine day i thank you personally and uh, i now i request uh, mr ganesh assistant professor of our college to propose a vote of thanks sir sir yes. one second sir please yes. before yes. vote of thanks i would like to take this opportunity to share another important movement because i am associated with tirchandur college not only for many reasons one of the reasons that i had an opportunity to run in the college ground Yes. At the South Zone, at the South Zone, the inter-university competitions during 1989-1990. Yeah. 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 And uh, Stephen Chelle was the local organizing secretary. Yes, he, sir. He recently passed away. Oh, uh, yes. Stephen Chelle, yes, sir. So I I won the hundred, two hundred, four hundred, four by hundred, and four by four hundred. All the five even five goals I won for yeah. Anam University. Still, I am remembering that I was there on the South Zone University Athletic Meet. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, sir. thank you, sir. Uh, right now, I request Ganesh to propose what happened.
Thank you, Natarajan. Sir, thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Natarajan. Sir, come on. Wait, no, sir. Sir, I hope my session was very lively and to the expectation, sir. Remember, Allah, I am really enjoyed. Never let go of it. I am just a person who loves to go out and do it. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Sir, let me know what time. Ah, okay. Okay. Even uh, many of the alumni has joined in YouTube. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Google Meet, then the YouTube are very giant for it. So it it becomes a memorable talk by you. It will be kept in our college library at any time. They can. Ah, my YouTube le ipper hum baat kar. So. Thank you. And the link. Thank you, Natarajan, and uh, wish you. Happy National Sports Day! Thank you. Thank you, sir. And the link can come to you, sir. YouTube link can. Check, check. Okay. Yes. Thank sir. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.